if you sell your craft projects, you totally need to be doing this. Stick around and I'm going to fill you in. Hey, my crafty friend, welcome. I'm Christy and I'm here to teach you how to master your silhouette. Okay, like I said, if you sell your craft projects, meaning you do it on Facebook Marketplace, you sell in a craft booth, you sell your items in person, anywhere, you definitely need to do this because it's going to help people keep coming back for more. Are you ready? Are you ready for this awesome thing that we're going to be doing? We're going to be making QR codes that you can use on business cards. You can create just stickers. You can use them in your, like a placard that you're going to put at your craft fair booth. But the great thing about these QR codes is that they can lead people to any web address that you want. So the great thing is that people buy your products at a craft booth, but then what happens when they run out? How do they know how to get back in touch with you? Maybe you have a Facebook page where you sell your products. So then you would want to like create a link with a QR code back to your Facebook page so that when they're ready to replenish, they can message you through Facebook or purchase through your store on Facebook or however you wanna do that but the QR code is the key. So I'm gonna show you how to create a QR code in Canva, and then we're gonna take it into Silhouette Studio, and that's where all the magic's gonna happen, where you can use that QR code to create your placard, to create your business cards, to create stickers, whatever you want to do. So let's jump into Canva, and I'm gonna show you how to get it done. Okay, so here we are at canva.com. And if you've never used Canva before, they do have a free version that you can use and you can certainly do this in the free version, which is great because we all know we don't need to spend any more money on things to make our business work, right? Okay, so what we're going to do, the first thing to think about is what are you going to use this QR code for? Are you going to put it on a business card? Are you going to make it into a sticker or are you going to make it into a placard? And you want to have that thing that you're making where you're going to put the QR code. You want to already have that created in Silhouette Studio because the size of that is going to determine the size of the QR code. So if you were doing like a business card, you know, those are like three, I think they're three and a half inches by two inches. And then to put your QR code on there, you're going to make sure you have a designated space and see how large that area is. And if you need help making print and cut business cards, I got a video that I will link up here and I'll also put it below in the description so you can figure out how to make those for yourself because, you know, we're DIYers, so let's do all the things, right? <laughs> okay, back to Canva. We're gonna create the QR code in Canva, but you wanna create it as the size that you're going to use it in Silhouette Studio. You don't wanna to have to resize in Silhouette Studio. Things could come out blurry when you go to print them, and then you may um, they may not work right. So you're gonna create them in Canva at the size that you're gonna use them in Silhouette Studio on your end product. So let's jump in and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do in Canva is come up here and click create new design. And then you're going to go ahead through here and remember we're going to create it the size that we need it. So I'm going to do a one inch by one inch and that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to hit create new design. And then it's going to open up this page here. This is a, a working canvas, just like you're used to seeing inside of Silhouette Studio. This is your working area. And then what I'm going to do here, you can see that I'm under the design area. You could also just create your entire um, placard here. If you wanted to, if you were just going to do a printed sign, you could do it here and then print it from here as a PDF and that would be fantastic. Or because you're very familiar with Silhouette Studio, you can just do the QR code and then pull it into Silhouette and finish everything there, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. 
So right now I'm under the design tab. I'm going to come down to elements and then I'm going to search here QR code. And you can see you've got all sorts of different things here. And it tells you right here if you you can use the QR code generator by Canva. And this is a free app, which is great. But before I go ahead and use that part, I want to add the little box where my QR code is going to go and then the graphic around it. Now we can hit the see all button. And you can see anything that has this little crown next to it is a pro. So if you're using the free account, you would have to pay a little bit of money to get these pieces here. Um, uh, looks like some of these are free. So you can use this free one here. So we'll grab that one so I can show you how to do all of this for free. And then up top, you can go ahead and change that color. I've already got my branding colors in here. You can always just come up to this add new color and then you have the option here to add your hex code or you can just drag this along, select the color that you want and do it that way as well. I'm just going to throw in my brand color. I'm going to make this outline piece this dark navy and then it'll do that for me. And because this is my one by one section, I can go ahead and resize this to fit into this area. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I'm going to put some text up here. So I can grab my text tool and then again, I already have my branding colors in here, but you can go through and select different fonts, however you want to do that. But I'm just going to select my um, branding font here and then I'm going to hit scan for um, scan for SVGs. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to send people to my Etsy shop. So first thing I'm going to do is size this down. And then you just want to make sure I want it to fit on top of that. Again, you can do this however you want. And then I'm going to pick a color for it. I'm going to make that one purple. And then inside of this is where I'm going to put my QR code. So let me grab that Q, uh, the web address from my Etsy shop. They have a link here to my Etsy shop. I'm going to copy that link. And then what I'm going to do is come back to elements and this time I'm going to use the QR code by Canva. I'm going to use their app and then here you're just going to enter the QR code or you're going to enter the web address, the URL link. So again, this can go to any website that is on the web. So again, if you wanted to send them to your Facebook page, you want to send them to your Etsy shop, if you have a website, you can send them anywhere that you want. Or you could even set this up to do like an email. You could do a mail to and then your email address and it would open this up in their mail. So, so many options for this. So again, I'm going to send them to my Etsy shop and then all I have to do is hit generate code. And then there's my QR code. You can see right here, there's a button to make it customized. And then with that, what you can do is just customize your colors. So I am going to use the hex code on this one and put in one of my brand colors. So I'm going to use my nice hot pink branding color. And then all I have to do is hit generate code. Oh, and it actually made me another one. And then with this code, now what I can do is just enlarge this. I want it to fit inside of those brackets. And then that looks good right there. Okay, so now I have my entire piece designed how I want it. 
They can scan this QR code and it will lead them right to my Etsy shop. I have this lovely bracketed piece around it to just make it stand out more. And then I've got the title up here of where this code is going to take you. So I've also got it up here. It saves a name for you, scan for SVGs. And then you have this share button and this is what we're gonna do. I want to download this and I'm gonna do it as a PNG. And I want to do it with a transparent background. So that means around uh, this code has a white background. Remember we did a background color here of white and foreground of pink. But everything else where it's a white background, all of that will be gone because it, it's gonna be transparent. And then I'm gonna hit download. That's gonna to go to your downloads folder or wherever you have your setup to send your downloads. And then we can go ahead and open Silhouette Studio. And then we will bring that QR code image into Silhouette Studio. Okay, now I'm in Silhouette Studio. So what I'm gonna do is file and I'm gonna merge and I'm gonna to navigate to my download section where I have that QR code and I'm gonna bring that in. And you can see how tiny that is. So if I zoom into this, you'll see it's really tiny and it's pretty legible, which is great. You could have also not done the text on there and done that in Silhouette Studio, which would work just fine as well. And you can see now this white background that's on here. It's not quite centered inside those brackets, so that's a little goof on me. You could have certainly left that white background around all of it, and this entire boxed in area would have that white background, which maybe that would work better for you, depending on where you're applying this. So now, let me zoom back out here. So we have our QR code here. Now, if you wanted to turn this QR code into stickers and then just attach them to whatever you wanted from that point, you could just come in, turn on your registration marks, and then you're gonna use this entire thing as a sticker. And at that point, I'm gonna make sure that I have a red outline so I know that it's gonna cut that entire piece. And then you can just go ahead and replicate to fill the page with those QR codes and it's gonna cut them out. Now when you click on here, you're gonna see it's one inch by one inch. So it's already the size from what we created it in, Silhouette, or, uh, in Canva. So these are ready to go. So if you wanted to create stickers, now, if you wanted to add this to anything else, all you have to do is have that pre-made in Silhouette Studio, and then you can bring in this QR code as a PNG file, put it on your business card wherever you want it, and then print them out. And now you have easy access for people who are seeing you at your craft fairs or are picking up things from you from Marketplace. Now they can scan that code. You can send them to your shop or anywhere else that you want to send people so that they have easy access to come back into your world when it's time to renew. Okay, there you have it. QR codes are what you need if you are selling your products because this is the great way for somebody to come in with their phone. Now they can just scan your QR code and they know exactly where to go the next time they need to order another product from you and you're not at a physical craft booth. Now they have a place to go where they can get what they need from you. So you can send them to an order form, you can send them to your website with your product page, you can send them to your Etsy shop, wherever you want people to go so that they can order their products from you outside of the craft show.